Hey everybody, welcome to the next part of Tiny Town. I'm loving seeing all of your comments and hearing about how many of you guys are actually doing the challenge and what you've been achieving, how you've been going about it. So keep all of those comments coming. I do have a few updates today. We have shifted the gameplay a little bit due to the Sims 4 for rent bugs. So I'm gonna show you guys the changes I've made. So get a tea, get cozy, and let's play Tiny Town. We are now in summer and we're currently playing Beatrice Jam. She loves cooking, her color is pink, and she loves cottage decor. So this is her amazing house. She's looking fabulous and she's making most of her money from selling challah because that does make a lot of money. Now unfortunately this is no longer residential rental land. It is just residential. In other words it's just a regular lot. And you can see Azure is living here with us but is not in our household and that's because I've added her as a roommate. So I'm hoping roommates doesn't bug out. But basically with The Sims 4 for rent, it got to the point where my sim couldn't interact with anything. Objects, other sims. I tried creating a new save, leaving the lot, coming back to the lot, deleting objects, replacing objects, and nothing was really working as a fix for me. Um, so in the end, I was like, yeah, this is not working. Let's just restructure. In order to keep an eye on money, what I have done is I built a vault. The vaults come with the Sims 4 Get Famous and I had mentioned at the start of the challenge this could be a good way to manage money if you're not using the Sims 4 for rent. Um, there's a vertical planter here but in this little room is actually a ladder that goes down to our community vault, or as I like to call it, a community kitty. And right now there's 2,322 simoleons in there and that is Azure's money. So this money can be used to pay bills because obviously we're also paying for Azure's house. But while building your Sims house and like feeding them, you don't wanna use this money. So that's how I'm gonna structure it without using Sims 4 for rent. And then this is uh, Beatrice's money. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, you guys. I wish it wasn't bugged. I wish it was working. It worked for me for a little while, but when I told James, I'm just gonna have a quick nap. Um, when I told James that I was using Forant, he was like, mm, are you sure you wanna do that? It's pretty buggy. And I was like, I'll see how we go. Regrets. Emerson, I think I have a crush on Miko. Oh yes, we love a crush. Go for it. Okay, it is raining. I did put a little heater out here because you guys said it would be nice to put that out there for when it's colder. Although wait, it's summer right now. So whoa, 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 whoa. We do not need to turn this on. I also named some of our chickens. We now have a cookie, a Hillary Fluff. I loved that name. One of you guys said Hillary Fluff. We have a croissant, a salsa, and a, a brown hen whom haven't named yet. But let's collect some eggs and see if we can make a little bit more hala. Otherwise, I've already got uh, a few lo three loaves here anyway. We can start with, maybe we should just do that. Oh no, Beatrice is scared. And then I did do a little bit of a kitchen furnish. I turned everything pink and yeah, I made some jam or Beatrice jam, made some jam and mayonnaise over here just to decorate the place. But we still have a fair bit of decorating to do. Like we need to get lounge room furniture before I feel like this house is done. Um, maybe just a few decorative pieces. We can put something on the shelf here. And then in terms of a bedroom, the bedroom's actually looking really cute. Maybe a couple of things on the bedside. It's mostly decorative things that we need. Oh, Beatrice, honey. Oh, honey. I mean, it's not the best time to have a market in the rain, is it? Oh, one of you guys also mentioned that we could uh, put a little bit of glass over here or make this more of a conservatory vibe so we can see the sign a little bit better. And I actually quite like that idea. The only thing is it might not look as pretty, you know? Let's just see if we added a roof to this and it would also require us deleting this middle part. We just drag that across and we went for a glass roof in this style maybe? I wish it wasn't so dark so I could actually see what I'm doing here. And that's kind of the glass vibe we've got. Honestly, it doesn't even look like glass. It looks like it's just see-through. I mean, I don't mind it. We could test it out for a little while, see it in different lighting and see if it looks a little less just see-through and it actually looks like it has glass in it. It might just be the lighting that we have right now. Oh, we got seven eggs. Beautiful, beautiful, fresh eggs. Well, as we've learned in the past, people still come to buy our beautiful bread, our challah, in rain, hail or shine. 
And in snow. And Ash is our first guest, it seems. <laughs> ah, now we can see the glass. Yeah, it was just the lighting. I think that's cute. I like it. I think that was a good idea of you guys. A few of you are saying you should get a goat for milk, um, a beehive to make honey and like honey cake and some tables and chairs. That would be nice. Why is no one? Oh my gosh. I was like, why is no one coming? Maybe it's because there's no food there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's not letting me sell my shell. My color. Oh, game. Why are you so buggy? Okay, fine. We'll just have to, we'll have to start again, folks. All right, well, first up, let's prep some ingredients. We need to make some batter. We've got some eggs to do that. So let's get this going. And then once we have some batter, then we just need more eggs to make the hala. Yay. <laughs> Let's go. If we can collect those prepped ingredients. I think we got, we get like five at a time. The batter, yeah, we got some nice batter. I know you're feeling a little sleepy, love, but maybe we could just start getting some khala cooking. Here we go. We can start cooking that. And yeah, that's a shame that um, the selling table bugged out and we lost three loaves that I had pre-cooked. Oh, it's so nice that she has a pretty pink kitchen. Her, cottage, her dream cottage kitchen is finally here. I think we'll do one loaf now, then we'll have a sleep or something to eat then a sleep. And then in the morning, we'll do another loaf and then open the shop. Maybe these storms would have passed and she'll be a little less scared too. Ah, oh, look at that. I feel like I can smell it through my screen. <gasps> did I accidentally throw that in the bin? Did I accidentally throw that in the bin? I did not just throw that in the bin, did I? <gasps> no. Oh, it's floating. I can see it. Oh my gosh. I really did think that. I feel like everything's bugged out since I turned it into a residential. So I'm just rebuying uh, these stores, which is costing us obviously more than we're making. Did you save my color? No. Well, at least we still have this. Oh, we have a little gnome. I'll keep that. And now we should be, yeah, now we can actually drag things to the fridge and the store and access them. Ah, she can sleep through the storm. Beautiful. She's woken up to a nightmare, the poor thing. That's all right. We'll just do a quick fix of the loo. Honestly, what a power woman. Is there anything that Beatrice cannot do? No, she's amazing. You can't fault her. Ah, that's better. I have a little tinkle time. Can I have a shower? We're like real bakers. We're getting up at 4 a.m. to do our challah baking. That actually must be really hard being a real life baker. You know, getting up at 4 a.m., making sure everything's ready to go. You'd have to go to bed really early. That ain't easy. Oh, I love it when she wears her onesie. Such a queen. Also, the other great news is we're at level 10 cooking skill now. So I found that level nine and 10 is when you can mark up your goods to 300% and they'll sell on the selling table. Where'd you go, Beatrice? So that is a relief. She's like, I'm over baking this. We are so close to finishing your house. Just a few more things and we need a little bit of money to put in the kitty for the next person. Also, it was good to hear a lot of you guys were saying Ziggy Yarn is the hardest character to make money with but it is doable. So we can keep Ziggy Yarn the same. Oh no, you guys don't have food? Not the chickens. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna scatter a whole heap of food for you guys. They're all hungry. Not Hillary Fluff starving out there. How could we? Oh, summer dress. Yes, gorgeous. Oh, hey chickies. I'm not surprised. Oh wait, we got 10 eggs, yay. I was gonna say, I'm not surprised if we don't get any eggs because these chickens are starving. Might give this a quick clean too. Because if it's dirty, they're definitely gonna be laying any eggs for us. Did you just put that on the, no, you're not cleaning the coop and then putting it on the ground, Beatrice. Talk about cutting corners. Isn't it a gorgeous summer day today in Tiny Town? It is just so beautiful. I kind of wish it was summer and spring here all the time because all the flowers are out and they suit the color of the house so beautifully. And Azure's place is all blue. Oh, hey, Azure. The roommate thing seems to be working and she's going to need a little a little nap time real quick. And once she has a nap, then we'll get selling. All right, that's enough sleep for you, doll. Some of you guys were saying it would be really nice to put like little umbrellas and tables out the front here. And I think that is such a cute idea. Oh, are we really opening this store in our nighty? Do we really have to do that? I don't think that's proper. Let's just, 
Let's put on a something a little nicer. Oh, thank God. We need to mark up the prices because it's a new selling table. 300% baby. And wait for the money to come in, folks. Emerson, I'm busy. Oh, I'm glad you went on a nice date though. I did suggest you go on that date. $384 a slice. She particularly likes affection. Sure, we do. Oh my gosh, what if Beatrice ended up with Frank Stem? <gasps> Can we make that happen? I actually feel like the fact we got painting first and then cooking second with Home Chef Hustle. These are probably two of the easier skills to make money from, which is nice. It's a nice way to start the challenge. But so many of you guys were saying you got Ziggy yarn first and Ziggy was really hard. So I'm kind of nervous for Ziggy. I also love that this is glass now. That's looking really nice. Oh my gosh, look at all of this moolah for the cooler coming in. Almost $5,000. We can do another food sale. Oh, we're a little bit, can we eat from this? I was gonna say we're a little bit deprived of energy and food. We're kind of busting for the toilet. I love Simon's outfit. Oh, she she's like, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, fine. We'll we'll close the shop. Just gonna have a little community snack over here. Mmm. Franks and beans. The more you eat, the more you fart. Fun loving community. Nice. Oh hey, Azure. Oh, she's leaving. Oh, she's, she's checking out the tents. I mean, we did give you a bed, but whatever. Whatever makes you happy, girl. Oh, Beatrice, come on. Is that really necessary? I'm gonna put this in the fridge for later. But I'm not sure if I really wanna eat more of that. Oh my gosh, this house is just so cute. I love it so much. Like one of my favorite little builds. She's just having a little bit of extra shut eye before we finish off selling all of this. And I really can't believe she's feeling like she's an underachiever. Look what you've done, Beatrice. You've built this beautiful house. You've got this thriving business. You're selling color for $300 a pop. Like, talk about overachieving. But it's good. Luckily, she's almost finished her house, so she can finally see to the other things she wants to do, if she wants to do them. All right, well, let's do a few, um a few more things on the house and see if we feel like we can get it to a stage where we're happy with it. I do think a llama is a great idea. Now, how do we get a llama again? We can get, oh, we could get a mini goat for milk instead of like a full llama. Maybe we should get a mini goat. Can you get sheep milk or goat's milk? The sheep can be sheared, that's right. The goats can be milked and they can be milked once a day. Well, it'd be nice to have just a little bit of milk. Maybe we can get a couple of these little animals. Yay, we've got a new animal. They're located in our inventory. I still think that's so funny. They're just in the inventory. Okay, let's place you in the world. Oh, look at our little goats. And we'll name you uh, Jelly, because Jelly is like jam. And then we'll name you Little Goat. Aries! Love it. I'm an Aries, so I feel that. I identify, I relate. Oh, I wanted to um to milk you guys, but that's all right. And then the other thing we had wanted to do is get maybe a beehive. Is she talking about herself? She is. Oh, she's flirty? I don't, know. I don't really see these guys as a couple. Just because of their age difference, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it works. But I really did see Beatrice more with like a Frank Stem kind of character. I just like those two as really good friends. Now the other thing, okay, let's get the beehive. Let's see if we can afford it. Uh, oh, that's a that's a wall pattern. That's not what we want. Uh, here we go, Bertie's bee box. So this is quite nice to have because you can uh, bake honey cakes and honey cakes are one of my favorite things to bake just because they're a really cool cake type. You wanna do yellow? No, what am I talking about? We wanna do pink, obviously. We could do like a nice little beehive. I mean, I don't know if we should have it close to the other animals. Also, I was thinking maybe we could make a cool planter with these palettes. I just thought maybe we could get a little bit creative. And with the move objects on sheet, maybe we could like, I don't know, make it look like things are growing through them. Like, I think that's quite, quite pretty. Yeah, that's cute. We could make this a little smaller and lift it up a bit. We have a little path running to the beehive. Then make it look like there's little paths going between these. Oh my gosh, look at this little bench. Yes. Okay, and then at the front here, is there room to have like seating near here. I mean, would she share her backyard area to have 
little tables or is that just a bit weird? Like, would you say, would she say, you know, you can go sit down out the back. There's some animals out there. Honestly, in Tiny Town, I could see it happening because everyone's lovely. So we could have, oh, that's cute with the umbrellas. Does this, does this go with our aesthetic though? I think the lighter pink goes with our store better. Yeah, let's do a couple of these and we can have like a few of these chairs. Yes, you think that's okay? So you can go sit down the back. Also, I think we can move that sign now. I really love our palette gardens. Now, in terms of the goats, they don't really have any items that they use, I don't think. Can feed them with a bottle. Ah, oh, picnic basket. Oh, we could have a little picnic area out here if someone wants to use their hala and have a picnic. That's cute. What looks like a picnic rug? I mean, honestly, this kind of looks like a picnic rug. Or there's this. Camo is not the vibe we're looking for. Or there's this. This came from like the toddler pack, I think. <gasps> We have a pink one. We can use this as a little picnic blanket. I actually like the one with blue in it. There we go. Put a little picnic basket there. We can give the illusion that they're dining if we put a stack of plates and maybe a couple of mugs, a little snack box. I don't like how abrupt this tile is to the grass. So I feel like we should do a little bit of a frame around it. You know, maybe they get to work. Although this is this is insanely expensive. $330 just for that. Truly outrageous if you ask me. But at least Sims can just step over it and it, and it looks nice. I know the hay is technically for horses, but I think these little animals could use it as well. I kind of feel like this needs to be sheltered. Maybe we could use some kind of awning. This is a little see-through. As cute as it is, I don't think it's gonna be quite right. What about the, oh, the fairy tale pergola? That's cute. It comes in pink. Kind of looks like it needs to rest against the side of the house though. What if we just size it down? We just kind of put this underneath and then we need to move it. Okay, and then we just redraw this. Okay, how's this? Maybe we need to bring this in as well. I mean, I think this is really pretty. We've spent basically everything on our garden instead of our lounge room. The priorities, this is super cute. We've got our little picnic rug, We've got chickens. Our little animals have a place to sleep. That's lovely. We can do some bonding with the bees. I always get confused with the beekeeper suit because isn't that with the beekeeper suit you don't bond as well? <laughs> but then you don't get stung. Sometimes it's hard to know. Ka-ching from Successful Food Sale. Heck yeah, we are bonding and our social is going up if it was only that easy in real life. Let's cook a little bit more hala. And then I think we'll probably, after another day's sale, we should have enough money to finish off Beatrice's house and then see who our next neighbor is gonna be, which I'm kind of nervous about. Oh, I wonder if we can afford a pizza maker. I think it's around $500. That would be cool, right? 685 simoleons, oof, that is pricey, but it does come in pink, so I like it. We could make focaccia because we have herbs. We just need to make some dough. Do re mi fa so la di. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. I am so silly. I am so silly. I thought we could make so many things because we had more vegetables and ingredients since harvesting them. But really the simple living lot trait's not on, is it? It's not. No wonder we can make everything. <gasps> no. Okay, so now that that's on, if we try and make anything, we'll be able to like make nothing. Yeah, okay, this is a little bit more realistic. Um, yeah. We need to do some late night, sh some very late night shopping, folks. I need to get that dough. I mean, that flour to make dough with it. Let's just get four. Get a couple of cheese for our pizza. We'll make some cheese pizza. Okay, that'll do. And then while we wait for that to come, we'll just have something to eat ourselves. I love how we're just walking out with our Franks and beans and being like, thanks for the shopping. Uh, our shopping is here. And then we just need a few cheeky winks of sleep and we're gonna make some pizza. Hello, my little chickens. Let me collect your eggs and scatter some food. Oh, the Somalians, oh my gosh, the scream. The scream is so funny. We got 14 eggs. Whoa, so many eggs. Maybe we got too many chickens. I'm just so excited by this little farm we have. I'm not sure what we can make with milk, but I'm sure there's many recipes that need milk. Gonna milk you. I love the milking with those beautiful nails she has. It's just so extra. <laughs> 
Oh no, I actually, I did uh, milk for simoleons. Whoopsies. Well, well, we'll get milk from this one. My gosh, we have so many. We could sell all of those eggs for $200. Oh, well, this picnic rug looks so sweet. Here we go, a couple of bottles of milk. You know, the great thing is that we have all of these animals now, but the not so great thing is uh, we need to care for them. <laughs> and that actually takes up a lot of a lot of Beatrice's time, you know, feeding them, milking them, socializing with them. But uh, now, they, now they seem happy. All right, let's make some dough. I so badly wish we could grow wheat. They, they should have added that with cottage living, actually. So you could grow your own wheat and then like turn it into flour, completely live off the land. And the same with cheese. Like be able to turn milk into cheese would be cool. That that would have been awesome. All right, I've got my pizza dough. I'm gonna make a pizza. Oh, our cheese pizza, we needed tomato, but we don't have any. Oh, well. Well, we can make our beautiful focaccia just for fun. You know, sometimes you gotta mix it up a bit. You gotta give the people what they want, but also give them something they don't even know that they want, but that they will want. Keep, keep the interest. Whoa, look at you go, mama. Wow, that is flaming. Oh, I had the best pizza the other day. I went looking at kitchen appliances. I actually made a vlog about this on my other channel, Deli Diary. Are you really just gonna leave that there flaming away? That seems really dangerous. Anyway, when I looked at appliances, it, it was at this fancy place, like this massive appliance store, and they would demonstrate cooking things in all the appliances. So they were cooking pizza and it was amazing. Oh, I don't like Bess, because Bess always just trying to get money. Should we donate one simoleon? Let's do it. Do you feel happier from donating? Ah, not really, I just feel like I got swindled. It's not a good feeling. Oh, look at that focaccia. Okay, I got way too excited about that. Mm, again, I feel like I can smell it. Okay, so what have we got in here? We've got a chala and a focaccia. Obviously the focaccia is not gonna be worth so much. 64 simoleons, uh, whereas the chala is worth 384. But look, it's something different. We're bringing something different literally to the table. And we don't have ingredients to make waffles, so I'm sorry we can't do that. Is anyone gonna buy the focaccia? I swear it's delicious. We're well known for our chala. Also, I love that we have like a full waffle theme and we don't really sell waffles. Also, you guys are welcome to sit out the back, but no one seems to want to sit there. Hey, how did you guys get out of here? Oh my God. Oh no, we forgot to clean the coop. The chickens are not gonna be laying eggs for us. Oh, all of our focaccia sold. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, so we made $3,200. Eight pieces of focaccia only got us 500 simoleons. Well, I wonder like how much these other pizzas I mean, we can make a curious pizza. I wonder if that sells for a lot, but we need alien fruit. Well, good job, everybody. Oh God, this coop. This coop is so upsetting. I have to clean it right now, even though we're about to pass out. We'll do it for the animals. Beatrice, just, she's a good lady. She's, even though, even though she puts trash on the ground, she's a great lady. Ah, oh, that's better. I'll tell you what, it gets stressful with all these animals. Okay, she's in bed. Before anyone yells at me about her needs, I know she's in bed now. She's gonna be okay. She's not gonna die. Just out of interest, like what can we cook at the moment? Pan de murta. Oh, we can make cheese from milk. Oh, I'm so silly. Of course you can make cheese from milk. So it's really just the wheat aspect that would be great. We could just grow wheat. Then I feel like we'd have everything we need. Oh, we can make milk bread. For honey cake, we just need honey. Oh, and sugar cane to make sugar. That would be cool. We can make hala. We can make zata manikish. We can make so many things it's very exciting but really the milk's only kind of handy for making cheese i guess all right well let's uh complete this build shall we i'm gonna miss gonna miss her so much i loved playing with beatrice okay so we just need maybe a couple of armchairs or a quaint little couch obviously we want to go for something pink so let's find something pink the cottage theme honestly we could just use that and that's pretty cute you know we could go crazy with spending but i think it's actually better to put some in the vault kind of a different vibe but it kind of works i love this chair i feel like this chair is great for her or even this chair the floral because it's so country i mean the pink's great but the pattern in this chair is just delightful so maybe we go with that in the corner 
Oh, we could get two of them. We could do like two of these. We could mismatch them so one's pink. Or is there something really sweet about just having one chair for her? Is that sweet or sad? I think it's kind of cute. Just for one. Though at the same time, it might be nice to invite a friend to sit down. So let's do two. We'll do this and we'll do this, okay? We can put this, um, I was about to say tray, what? <laughs> this rug on an angle. Although it feels like it needs a circular rug in here because the rectangle one doesn't really make sense, that orientation. So maybe we put this one in the kimchun. All right, now we're really cooking. I think I want to use that traditional tea set that came with my wedding stories because it's got this lovely pink floral pattern on it. How cute is that? It's perfect. Oh, I just realized we don't actually have curtains here. I mean, these curtains work. They're extraordinary narrowly pink, but I guess that's what we want, don't we? They're probably the best option we have, unless we want to do these high school year ones. Ooh, all these ones. I, I haven't really used these yet, so that's kind of exciting. Get some dusty trinkets out. Perfect. <gasps> I love these apples. Yeah, just like a bucket of apples in the corner. Maybe onions. Perfect. And a casserole dish. Oh, all these gorgeous tins. That's cute. I think we need a chicken up here. We need more chickens because Beatrice loves her chickens. She just loves them. I'm just going to raise up a couple of things from the country kitchen uh, kit to put in these shelves too. Cute. Very cottagey. Even though this lamp is pretty cute and it suits the theme of the house for some reason I just don't like it not good enough I actually just want to use this cats and dogs one you know what we should have out here just some uh challah loaves ready to go even though you can't buy these it's because they look cute on display yeah that looks good Okay, so I basically run out of money, so I am get getting Beatrice to cook a couple more loaves to sell, because guess what? We overspent. Um, I am going to place some prairie grass, so then we don't have to feed our little animals. I forgot that we could just do that. And I think they'll just feed on it themselves. Okay, here's our hala. Just give you a little bit of a clean, give you guys some food. Oh, let's also collect some honey and wax. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we have to make a honey cake. We have to. This house is just so pretty. I just can't get over it now. Just all the gardens and the animals. It's just beautiful. I wonder if we actually can make the honey cake. Oh, we can because we have eggs. We have so many eggs and we have flour or sugar. Yay. Oh, wow. So we can make a honey cake from our freshly harvested honey. It would be so cool to have bees, but I have dogs and I feel like the bees would maybe get, I don't think we could uh, manage that. Also, because we're not here half the year. What is this? It's funny how she's not placing that on the bench ever. Oh, and we need to buy a lottery ticket. For 100 simoleons, we can afford it. That would be so handy if we won the lottery, so then we could just have lottery money in the vault. Which reminds me, we were paid $569 by our roommate, so we also need to contribute $569 to the vault. Um, <gasps> look at that honey cake! That looks amazing. It looks like one of those pancake cakes where it's just like literally a cake made of layers and layers and layers of crepes, I guess. I love this. Let's put that on the table too. Careful, Beatrice, don't fall. Okay, so we've got our lottery ticket and then we need to put 569 simoleons into the vault because we didn't make that money from our skill. Whoa. Oh my gosh. So we can just go 569 simoleons added. And this isn't a mod. This came with Get Famous. Okay, and just like that, all of our money's gone. All right, we'll close that. Ooh, high tech. High tech stuff. And these are all berries over here and I planted these so Beatrice can make jam all through the year. But it would be nice to add another one here. Let's plant that. I think it'd be nice to donate our honey. All right, everybody, we got honey cake here. 160 simoleons, a slice. Whoa. I still, I just don't understand why the hala is so much. Because <laughs> the honey cake has more ingredients. It's just kind of funny. But I do think placing all of these as decorations makes this stall look a lot nicer. Oh, we have floating hala over here as well. I just love that the goats are just, oh no. I was going to say, I love that they're here to interact with the patrons. But it's not a great look when they're stinky. I actually kind of get personally offended when no one buys our stuff. Like the fact that no one had bought a slice of cake was kind of affecting me on a personal level. 
I have a lot of problems, clearly. If anyone's wondering if it's actually possible to win the lottery, it definitely is, because my sim once won it when I was starting off Rags to Riches. It was like the first day. <laughs> So we made another $2,500. I think we sold all of our honey cake, which is nice. Um, so she's done really well. It's good to see Aja's using her house and her bed. The results are in and the lotto winner is Cheyenne. Well, we didn't win that. Probably for the best. And this is, this is it, you guys. We're just doing our last few decorations and putting the rest of the stuff in the vault. Actually, I don't want that there. Where did I put that there? And we're done with Beatrice. So I guess in the next part, we will roll or spin the wheel and actually see who we get. Let me know in the comments down below who you want us to get. I would love to get Gem Opal. No. Opal gem, just cause I haven't played that much with uh, the crystal pack. And I didn't know you guys why she has a jug next to her bed. If she like pees in it, you can't be bothered going to the toilet. No, it's, it's just a water jug if she needs a drink of water. But yeah, I think, I think I'd like to get opal gem. So to manifest that, I'm just gonna put some jewelry on the side table. Maybe do some glasses on the wall here. I really love this little chalkboard, even though it's Christmas themed. I just think it's so cute. And then in here, it does feel like it needs a little extra loving. Maybe a, a light. Oh my gosh, it definitely needs a toilet roll. A couple of pink things in here too. We'll do a mirror just sitting there. Much better. You guys, I think this house is fully done. So let's do the grand tour. This is the outside, the side view, the other side view, which I think is very pretty, and the back. And then if we actually go, if we go into the house, we go through the front door. Here's our adorable kitchen that she spends a lot of time in. There's also a nice little seating area. Then we have our little lounge room, lovely little tea set and fireplace. Let's let Beatrice walk around. Where'd she go? She disappeared. Oh, there she is. Whoa. She's loving her lounge room. She's like, this is the best. And she also found those feathers. Those were on the lot. We'll go up her little staircase. And this is her beautiful pink bedroom. And it looks so sweet. Look at that. This is looking the other way with the box that she began with. And then her pink bathroom's in here. And she's got her chickens in there, her little lammies who need a wash. And then uh, the bees and the picnic rug. It's just a vibe. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know who you'd like to see next. And a massive thank you to all of my beautiful members for all of your support. If you'd like to become a member, you can by clicking the link in the description description down below to get bonus videos every week, behind the scenes updates, and the higher levels also get their names on the screen at the end of each video. I'm having so much fun with this tiny town challenge, you guys, so thanks for your support. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you all soon. Jack Jack!